Retain Gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay. And uh man, today I want to talk about, you know, just finding your purpose. You know, first of all, shout out to AMS. AMS is one of the first guys who really introduced me to like red pill knowledge, you know. So I gained a lot of information from him. Me personally, I don't really consider myself red pill or MGTOW or any of that. You know, I just like to listen and take information from each group and apply it to my life, you know, how I see fit, right? You don't want to put yourself in a box and just follow one group or this group. You know, experience all and live your life the way you should live it, right? I heard an interview with Bruce Lee and he said you want to be like water, right? Because water can take the shape and form of any container. So you want to be versatile, right? We're just here to experience and grow and learn and take that to the next life, you know? So you don't want to get emotionally attached to one group, right? Be your own self, be your own man, your own boss. But with that being said, you know, guys, I always like to give you my experience. So, you know, I'm gonna tell you like how I find my purpose. And maybe that'll help you guys, you know, get on your grind and really find out who you are. Because, you know, it was a time where I was at a low point and I really didn't have no direction in life. I didn't know what I was supposed to do, but I always knew deep down inside that I was meant for something greater. You know, they would always tell us, oh, you want to live the American dream, you know, get a house, car, family, you know, and you're living, you're living your best life. But I never, I always had some type of resistance with that, you know, because I knew that life had to be bigger than just living, living and dying. You feel what I'm saying? I always had a conflict with that. So, you know, when I was around friends, family, even when I was in a relationship at one point, you know, anytime someone had a problem or my girl was going through something, you know, I would always know the right things to say to make them feel at ease or to motivate her or my friends. You know, my girl told me, you always know the right things to say to make me feel, you know what I'm saying, at ease, to make me feel sane again, right? And I didn't think nothing of that at the time, you know, Anytime that I did that for a friend or anybody, I never thought anything about it. But that was the most high giving me my answers to what my purpose was on this planet, right? Sometimes we gotta sit back and we gotta listen because the answers are right in front of our face, you know? And as I've gotten more consciously aware, you know, I look back at my life at certain situations and I'm like, wow, you know, I knew who I was this whole time. I just wasn't paying attention. I wasn't listening, you know? It's only when, when I really isolated myself and went back inside myself that I really like clicked. Everything just resonated like, wow, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm a natural healer and I'm a Pisces. So naturally I, you know, I heal and I'm just a person who knows how to relate to people and know how to motivate people, you know? so. Um, I really just started meditating a lot, praying and really working on myself, asking for answers. What is my purpose? I would ask that every day, even when I wasn't getting the answers that I wanted or if I wasn't seeing the answers, I never gave up. I stayed persistent. You know, there were days where I wanted to quit. There were days where I was like, you know, why am I doing all this? Why am I stressing myself out? Why am I working so hard to be better when I'm not seeing results? But I stuck with it, man, you know, and the dark days are past. From my experience, I'm letting you guys know that those dark days don't stay forever. You know, after a while, you're gonna be enlightened. You're gonna get past that forest and you're gonna see what you've been working hard for all this time. You feel what I'm saying? You know, so I started doing like videos on like my Instagram and my Facebook, doing like 30 second videos of just quick motivation. And the way people responded to it, man, it was just like, I was really making a difference in their life just by those few seconds, you know? And even now, when I'm making these videos for you guys, man, like just the responses you guys give me and the comments and all the DMs, you guys telling me how much of an impact I'm making in your lives and just motivating you guys to be better, you know, that, that really made me take what I do seriously. And it lets me know that my, my mission on this, 
on this planet is bigger than me. You know, the Most High has called me to, you know, heal, help others to find themselves, right? And I really took that in perspective and I, I had to start taking what I do seriously and not for granted, right? We all have our purpose though. You have a purpose, you know, everybody who's watching this video, we all have our own unique gift that we're born with. We just have to listen to ourselves and let it come out. It's naturally inside of you. You don't have to work hard to achieve it. You were already born with it, right? Your purpose is bigger than, than just working a nine to five to just get that house, that car, to make money. You were sent here on a mission and you have to fulfill that mission, you know? And deep down, you feel it in your gut. You, you can feel that you need, you can feel it deep down in your gut that your purpose is bigger. You just don't know how to get there. Meditation, go back with inside yourself. Really start asking the most high for answers. Ask questions. You know, never be afraid to ask questions. They used to tell us that in school. Never be afraid to ask questions, right? Always ask in your head. You know, you'll receive those answers through, through different outlets, through people, through TV, through radio. You might hear something on a TV station. You might hear something on a radio station. You might walk past a random conversation and hear something that resonates with you, that gives you the answer that you were looking for. You know what I'm saying? You know, really start focusing on yourself. Really start thinking back how you were as a child. What was your personality like? How did people receive you? You know, what did you naturally gravitate towards? You know, I did all these things and realized that I was always like this. You know, I just didn't, I just didn't know how to, I just didn't know how impactful this was, right? We all have a gift. You know, whether it be healing the world, whether it be, you know, building something or inspiring people, you know, whatever it is, whatever you have a natural gift for, you need to really go back with inside yourself and pull that out of you. Okay. But hey, man, I just wanted to make that quick video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what y'all want me to talk about next. This your boy Tay. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. Peace.